In the old days, we would just take our high-end ski and essentially make a wider version of it. The same rocker, same bevel, same everything, just make it wider. So we started to design skis specifically for crossover skiing, which looking back is it, a very like innovative idea, like why didn't we do this sooner? But it kind of changed the way skis are made, so most people are doing that now. Really, it's an easy concept. We took our, our high-end skis and we made them much more efficient, meaning we reduced the drag on the skis. And what that did is it made the skiing experience more enjoyable because what we were hearing from all the customers was, you know, I'm not quite skiing as much as I used to or I'm a little bit older than I used to be and I'm skiing so much work. Man, it's hard to water ski. And we thought, well, imagine if we could make water skiing not hard. Maybe we could make skis easy to get up on. And most importantly, once you get up on them, that you could keep skiing for longer amounts of time with less physical effort and, uh, and enjoy the process. And that was our idea, and it's worked really well. And we're seeing, actually, that's our fastest growing segment of skis. CX is traditional width. TX is what we call oversize, and how you pick which, I mean, it's performance. If you want a ski that goes on edge a little bit better, um, maybe makes a little bit of quicker turn, you go with the CX. If you want to ski it's a little bit easier to get up on, a little less work once you're up, obviously the ski with more surface area does that. I also find skis a little bit more surface area, a little bit more stable. I mean, I think the best ski we make, in all honesty, is the TX. I really do. I think it's the best because it's the most versatile. I've seen Bob LaPointe rope 38 off on the TX, and, and I've seen people make their first deep water start on it. That's pretty amazing. You know, you hear people say that, but to actually witness that, like to see a person for the first time ever get up on a ski and get up and ride a TX and have it be super stable and have them really love that first ski experience, all the way to see like pretty much your idol rope 38 off with a tight line and just make it look like we all wish it looked and do it on the same ski like literally the same ski not the same model it was the same one uh it was pretty cool so i think that is my probably my favorite ski i always love riding it it's the ski i personally ride out here on sammamish in the mornings when we go free skiing for fun I mean, I think the best ski we make, in all honesty, is the TX. I really do. And probably for me, the super light version. Because I, you know, I'm into, I'm an engineer, so I like the carbon fiber and PVC foam. And the story behind super light was we were developing all of these crossover skis. And we lean really heavily on our test team. Marcus Brown, John Travers, Will Asher, Bob LaPorne, myself. That's really the core group who's designing skis. And we would test these skis and they're like, man, these skis rip. There's a lot of good stuff happening here. We can learn from this. We can probably incorporate this in some of our syndicate stuff, like, which now you're seeing actually, you know? But the one thing everybody would ask for would say, hey, can you make it with the syndicate materials? Can you make it with a carbon fiber lamp? And so I started making these one-off skis for Will and Marcus and Bob and they loved them. And then, you know, as skiers, we said, well, if these are what we want to ride, these are probably what our friends want to ride. We started to introduce super light versions of the crossover ski. So you have a super light CX and a super light TX. And in simple terms, they are a CX made with syndicate materials or a TX made with syndicate materials, which is carbon fiber and that lightweight PVC and foam core. Well, I think the limit's been rewritten, you know, because I, in the, like two days ago, I walked, I actually drove. Will Asher was riding a super light CX in our photo shoot. Dave was driving, Sam was watching. And he ran 41 off at 34 miles an hour. I think it's the sleeper. I think it's the most underrated ski in our line. And so that rewrote the performance envelope for me on that ski. I used to tell people, I said, hey, it's a great ski. It really wasn't designed, you know, to run beyond 38 off. But to see how easy Will ran 41 on it, I think it made us re-question what's possible. If, if you said to me tomorrow, hey, I need you to go and compete at 34 miles an hour, like Dave, send me that CX. I truly believe that 
these super light CX and TX skis are probably more suited to the guys running 22 off, 28 off, and 32 off. In essence, they can run 22, 28, 32, potentially 35 better on the super light versions of these crossover skis than they could on a VTX or VTR. And there's really only one way to find out, and that's to ride them. In HO, we have a demo program. It's an awesome program. You can demo any syndicate ski or super light ski uh, for three weeks, relatively inexpensive in, in the grand scheme of things. And you can ride a super light CX back to back with a VTR or a VTX and let the score stand for itself. I mean, if you run more buoys or have a better ski experience on a super light CX, there is no reason that you shouldn't, you know, own that thing and ride it like you stole it. <laughs> Don't be afraid to try them. I mean, I think 41 off is the limit now. I think you're good for a while. <laughs>